Alright, in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to install the billing system WHMCS into your website. And we're going to be doing this uh, using Quick Install. And uh, where we're going to install it is in this website right here. Uh, this is a basic default website that I installed using Joomla. And I want to be able to access my billing system by going to maybe uh, gatorvids.com slash um, billing maybe as you can see right now I get a 404 page I can also maybe install it in under a subdirectory called clients for example so I still get a 404 page uh, because nothing actually exists within that directory um, WHMCS is a commercial product. Uh, if you have a reseller's account uh, with HostGator, then you get a free license to this for as long as you have your reseller plan. So that might be one way to obtain the uh, software for free. The other way is that you can go to WHMCS.com and uh, order uh, whichever flavor of WHMCS that better suits your needs. Um, so anyways, uh, in order to install it, you will need the license key. Uh, so that's the one thing I wanted to mention. So once you have that, uh, you can go into Quick Install and you will find it on the left hand side under Billing. Here we will click on WHMCS and uh, we're going to click on this installation button right here. Now we type in our details. First of all, we're going to select the domain where we want the script to be installed on. Next, the installation path. Let's go ahead and install it under clients. Okay, again, you can choose billing, you can choose uh, ad, not, not admin because most likely your other website stuff will be using an admin subdirectory for whatever other things you're using, but maybe something that's more related. Um, to your billing stuff like maybe dashboard or you know something like that uh, alright so let's type in an email address and a username of course your first name followed by your last name and uh, check your email or your uh, whmcs.com account for your actual installation, uh, your license key. Okay, we're gonna put that license key right there and uh, type in your company name. Once we have done that, we click this uh, nice uh, green install WHMCS button, and after a few seconds, your installation will be complete. At this point, you can take a look at this pull down menu copy your um, password this is a temporary randomly generated password and uh, make a note of your administration area URL okay because you're gonna need this in order to log in to the uh, administration side of your installation for now let's take a look at our website here is my Joomla powered website and you can use whatever you want for your main website but we installed it under uh, the subdirectory clients so we're gonna go in there now and hit enter and you can see WHMCS is running and working as it should now to manage your uh, WHMCS installation then just go to this URL log in with your credentials and uh, begin your setup process for your specific website